Second grade language arts. We're going to start off with the spelling worksheets. The first one is a picture of a cloth. This is paint. Count. Whirl. I can barely see this picture, but I do know that it's a stall. Think, blank, and laugh. That's, you can't really see laugh. There you go. Let's go to the second one. Fiction. Sting. Nerve. Weekly. Rough. Class, wing, and flu. Let's go to suffixes. This is the only suffix page that I'm requiring you to do. I know it's two, but this is the one um, that I want that begins with loudest. All we have to do is underline the suffix and draw a circle around the base word. So the suffix right here is EST. EST is a suffix. That means most, okay? The root word is loud. Right here we have er, er. Right here is a person whom, but it can also mean more, but since that's a noun. So that less means without rest. We got player, we got full, which is full of, less, which is without. We have older, this, in this word, the suffix er means more. So when you're older, you're more old. EST means most, nice. ER means more, tall, less means without, help, full means full of, cheer, and then we have a painter. Let's go ahead and look at the prefixes. Un is a prefix that means not or the opposite of. So we have unlock. Re means again. So we have re right. This means not. So dislike. Re means again. So relocate. This means not, so distrust means not to trust. Un means not or the opposite of, so if something is untrue, it's not true. Unhook, un means not, so that means it's not hook. Disclose, this is a prefix that means not. Re is a prefix that means Again, remix, mix it again. Un is a prefix that means not, so if something is unsafe, it's not safe. Un is a prefix that means not, so if you're unlucky, you're not lucky. This is a prefix that means not, so to disown someone means not to own them anymore. And that's all of the language arts.